I just want to say good morning to everybody except except for the person that hit my car and ran away. So I'm going to show you guys the video of the door ding on the passenger side door. It's pretty bad. I'm going to let you guys see the video first so you guys will know what I'm talking about as I tell you guys the story. Oh, so basically, I just left my car in an empty parking lot. The parking lot was literally empty for like 15, 20 minutes to run inside the Apple store. And by the time I came back, there was this huge door ding on my car and it literally just ruined my morning. Whoever did this, they basically ran away and didn't leave a note, which, you know, I've been thinking about a lot. I'm like, I feel like I would have personally left a note if I dinged someone's car that bad, but obviously this person chose to just leave. What do you guys think? Like, do you think they should have left a note or do you think for like a, I don't know, dinging someone's car, it's okay to just leave because as far as I'm concerned, that's like hitting someone's car. As you guys can see, it's pretty bad. Like it was pretty careless of this person to just like slam their door into the car. It wasn't like a small door ding or anything. It was, it was pretty bad. So something that you can't tell immediately from the video is that the white stuff you see is actually paint transfer from the car. So when I got back to my car, there was a black car parked next to my car and I actually waited for the guy and I was like, hey, did you ding the car? And he was like, no, like he was clearly confused. Like he had no idea what I was talking about. So when I got home, I kind of like rubbed it a little and the white stuff came off and obviously the paint under was still blue. So it was a white car that hit the car. The other really frustrating thing about this is I actually do have a dash cam and I'm a huge advocate for having a dash cam, but my dash cam actually only records like 15 minutes after the car is parked. And I was gone for a total of like 20 minutes. So basically I watched it back in the 15 minutes, like nothing happened, no one parked next to the car. And by the time I got back, there was this huge door ding. So it must have happened literally in the five minutes that the dash cam wasn't recording. And I think this is, pretty big lesson to me and to anyone watching this video to get a dash cam that's always recording you know like the tesla de built-in dash cams that's always recording like what's happening to your car the other really big question i've been asking myself is what would have happened here if i had a wrap so i've never had a door ding when i've had a wrap would the wrap have protected the car from the door ding or would the door ding have just damaged the wrap and then I would have to get that whole panel rewrapped, which would have been even more expensive. It was annoying me so much that I actually already got it fixed. I got it fixed literally two days after because I, every time I came to my car and I saw it, it just infuriated me to see it. So the fix itself was a paintless dent repair and it cost about $250, which isn't too bad. Like honestly, like I'm just glad it's completely fixed and I'm actually gonna get out and show you guys in just a second. You, you literally can't see it. It's like it never happened so obviously for something this small you don't want to go through insurance because it, it's just not worth it to get insurance involved and have it go on the record it's just so small that it's basically just best to just pay out of pocket and get it fixed not to mention the fix was below my deductible so insurance would not have covered the fix anyway as a side note I'm actually thinking about mid piping the car it's still pretty loud with the valves open, but it's, I don't know. <laughs> Should I do it? Also, I forgot to tell you guys. Oh, that's a cop. Okay, let's go into comfort mode. I also really quickly, oh wait. Okay, we definitely need to drive in grandma mode here. But yeah, really quickly, before I hop out and show you guys, I forgot to tell you guys, the way they did that fix is basically they just slide like a really thin instrument down the window panel and they basically just like hammer it out from the other side. I actually asked them if I could film a quick video to show you guys, but 
they said that they didn't want filming inside of their garage for liability reasons or something like that. So obviously that's fair, I didn't want to push on it, but I think if you look it up, look up Paintless Dent Repair, you could see what it's like. I think it's just like a really thin, like, I don't know, like a rod almost thing that they slide inside the window compartment and just get it out. All in all, it was $250, it's over with, but I think what really just gets me is I'm just so careful to park so far away from everyone else. Like I always take that spot in the corner of the parking lot and still someone decided to park next to me to ding the car and run away. It's, it's just so crazy to me. Also, I know for sure that it happened in this specific parking lot. Just in case anyone was wondering, like how do you know it didn't happen like before or after? Because I always check my car for door dings like before and after. After, and actually just before I went to the passenger side so it happened on the passenger side I went to the passenger side to get my shopping bags out and it wasn't there like I 100% know that it wasn't there so as you guys know this is my daily and I pretty much drive this everywhere I go but in January I actually have eight appointments maybe nine nine appointments at a construction site so I have the home inspections new home orientation like final walkthrough and like taking delivery of the home for my investor clients and <laughs> I don't want to take this car into construction sites that's where I draw the line just because you know if you get a nail in the tire or something it's gonna be very expensive to fix so I pretty much, if my sister's watching this video, this is her warning that I'm gonna be taking her car for the month of January. And no, you can't have this car. <laughs> also, gas prices in North Carolina are literally 350 for premium at Shell, so we've just been flooring it a lot more as we're driving. This is great. There's literally a police meetup right here. Maybe I'll just pull right here though. I don't wanna. Say hi. Okay, I'm gonna hop out and show you guys the passenger door where we had the dent. Let me know if you guys can see the damage at all. Personally, I think it's as good as new, but I wanna show you guys so you guys can see it. What is this? That's just dirt. But anyway, I think it was somewhere around here, but I literally can't even tell because that's how good the repair was. All right guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to very quickly show you guys what happened to the M4. I hope this was it. This was the worst of it and nothing else happens to the M4. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it would help this channel a lot if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.